Let's talk a little bit about the importance of the back leg in fencing. I focus a lot of my teaching on the work of the back leg and a lot of fencing uh, coach do the same thing. The big reason is that the back leg is involved in most of the important aspect of fencing. It's very important when it comes to balance. It's very important when it comes to finishing a motion and being ready to change direction or change speed. And finally, it's very important when it comes to the attack motion, the lunge. The back leg is gonna give me power, so I want it to be ready for that. So when working on uh, this back leg, I want to first learn to separate this back leg from the rest of my body, from my other leg and my arms. Next, I want to learn to optimize the work of this back leg, whether it's about speed or power. And the final aspect of my training is to make this uh, back leg something I don't have to think about when I fence. I want to work on it in practice so when the bout happens I can focus on my opponent and not on what this back leg is doing. One way to learn separating the back leg from the rest of my body is to simply get into an angle position and only trigger this back leg. So I can get on guard, make sure I'm balanced, stable, and from this stable position, I'm going to simply move my back foot back and reset it to the on guard position. I can work it small, I can work it bigger, I can work it in multiple steps, one, two, three maybe, and reset. If I repeat this kind of practice, I'm going to build connections in my brains and have more control about what my back leg is doing. The second thing I want to incorporate in my training is to have this back leg ready at all time. If my back leg is ready, I am balanced. If my back leg is ready, I'm able to move any direction. One common mistake uh, we often do on the strip is to get lazy, lean forward maybe, or get the feet to be too far apart, and this back leg is kind of dragging behind me. So from here, I don't have much option of power, speed, or change of direction. The good balance is center. My center of balance is in the middle, and from this position, both, both legs are loaded. I can retreat, I can advance, I could lunge, I can go slow, I can go fast, I can pretty much do anything I want. So the challenge in the belt is to maintain that. I move a lot, I interact with an opponent who's trying to hit me, it's easy to lose the focus. I need to work that before I get to the competition. A simple exercise to practice this readiness of the back leg is to work from advancing. And what I'm going to do here is to, on purpose, slow down my front leg when I start my advance. I'm gonna slow down that motion and then focus on a quick bring of the back leg. Okay, so I reinforce my ability to finish this advance quickly and have my back leg very as soon as possible underneath me. And there again, I can do any kind of movement I want. I can work on the same thing by simply doubling the pose of this back foot. So from a simple advance, I will advance and tap the back foot twice. Again, what I'm doing here is just reinforce my uh, ability to control my back foot and make sure this back foot is quickly back to the optimal position. So these two exercises we just demonstrated may seem very basic, almost, almost boring in a way, but they are going to build permanent connections. If I do a lot of repetition on these simple moves, these become motions I don't have to think about when i on the strip. My back leg has learned to come back fast after an advance and it just simply happens when I bout. So the back leg is a very powerful weapon in the belt because uh, I can get power out of it. 
I can also get a lot of deception out of it. So for, for example, if I'm in a forward motion, I can move forward and change direction to a retreat. When I change direction to the retreat, my back leg started to move. So I can use that now as a, as a feint. I can be on the forward motion and fake backward movement with this back leg, but actually stay there. Now, if on top of that, I have the ability to keep this back leg loaded, I'm going to have the option to trigger an attack. So I can be moving forward, fake a retreat, and actually attack my opponent on preparation. Okay. From the moment I have this ability to do either action, I can mix up. Sometimes I'm going to fake my retreat and retreat. Sometimes I'm going to fake my retreat and attack. Sometimes I'm going to fake my retreat and counter attack. I can do anything I want. In the training, I want to build power in my back leg. Power in my back leg is going to give me more reach, more speed in my attacks. And I'm going to score most of my touch most of my touches on attack. So when on guard position, I want my back leg to be underneath my hip, so it's ready to push. Now what I can do to help with the power is to shift the center of balance just slightly forward. So now I'm more ready to attack, but I kept this back leg loaded. It's loaded, I have power, I can release and push on it.